No, you're good. We're good, brother. Share. This is really not a surprise. What? Well, I, well, it's kind of been all over social media, and I think people have seen him. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was on the invite. But I, I, I was following the, the script on the teleprompter, something that you're not very familiar with. That's fair. Okay, well, he needs no introduction. I would like to introduce him. I just got finished saying he needs no introduction. I would like to introduce him. You were going to introduce him anyway, honey. It's, it's on the teleprompter <laughs> that I was going to... Okay. Go ahead. I was taking a dramatic pause. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Bradley Cooper. Good evening. I just have to say really quickly, Dr. Gitnick was such a huge part of uh, my life and uh, helping my father in his last years. And uh, I know he's affected so many other people here, but uh, I owe you so much, Dr. Gitnick, and thank you for that. Um, but I want to talk tonight about a powerful part of the Fulfillment Fund's mission, uh, mentoring future leaders. Thousands of students have been a part of the, this Cornerstone program, where volunteers uh, ranging from 24 years old to 74, they continue to change young people's lives. And when you decide to dedicate some of your time to a student, the effects are immeasurable. As a mentor, you can further a student's self-worth and interpersonal skills, and you can prepare them for the world. And sharing where you started in life and where you are now can demonstrate one of the most important lessons of all possibilities. Everyone can benefit from a little guidance, even as an adult. In fact, I've been lucky to experience this in my own life. Uh, the time I spent with one particular person, he's been, it's been a mentorship all its own. This individual, he's always willing to share all of his knowledge and experience with me. He, he's kind and he's warm, and, and I seek his guidance for every major decision that I make. Please welcome Robert De Niro. Thank you, Bradley. Bradley Cooper is the kind of actor I'd like to be. And by that I mean young. Well, younger. <laughs> I'm very happy to be here with my good friend Bradley and all of you to honor our friends Cherna and Gary Gitnick, founders of the Fulfillment Fund. They sh They shepherded it from a small mentoring organization for children with disabilities to its current status as an essential college readiness organization, bringing a wide array of programs, including mentorship services to, to youth of all abilities. And I want to mention three more of Chair and Gary's extraordinary accomplishments. First, they've been married 53 years. to each other. In Hollywood, in Hollywood, <laughs> in marriage, 53 Hollywood years equals about a millennium. Congratulations, Shanna. Second, Dr. Gitnick has been my personal physician for about 20 years, maybe more. So I know firsthand his intelligence and the quality of his personal care. Tonight we honor him and Cherna for treating thousands of educationally underserved young people the same way he treats his patients. And third, through their leadership and example, the Gitniks are not only promoting education, they're promoting learning and humanity. A college education is important, but education without humanity is ignorance. Look at our president. He 
He made it through the University of Pennsylvania, so he was exposed to a quality education. But he's still an idiot. <laughs> no, no boo, baby. This is for real. We gotta do something about it. Sorry. And he lacks any sense of humanity or compassion. Of course, he did have to overcome the curse of growing up rich and spoiled and endure the heartbreak of bone spurs. Maybe that had an effect. <laughs> now, I'm not trying to turn this in, into, I, I'm not trying to turn this non-political event into a political one. Thank you. But as long as our country's leadership is so appalling and so corrupt, I'll be speaking, I'll be speaking out of every opportunity and in every venue. To be silent in the face of such villainy is to be complicit. And it is especially appropriate tonight, because Trump treats education as a con, a way to make a profit at the expense of the suckers. Anyone here planning to get their higher education at Trump University? But don't be discouraged, young people. Get your degree from a legitimate institution. You don't have to become president. You can get an honest job or become president. Why not? And restore integrity and dignity to the job of being president. In stark contrast to the Trump world of dishonesty and greed, tonight we celebrate generosity and devotion to service. You know, it would be nice if you had a president to look up to. But you're in luck. For role models, you don't have to look any further than Sharon and Gary Kitten. And Sharon and Gary are teachers, authors, philanthropists, parents, mentors, caregivers. They are creators of the legacy changing lives. On behalf of the students of Los Angeles and the Fulfillment Fund, we honor the legacy of Cherna and Dr. Gary Gidnick. that have been overcome make every minute we've spent working on the fund's mission extremely gratifying. Tonight's festivities signify 40 years of amazing progress for the fund, but it also occurs on my wonderful husband's birthday. Today, today. because Gary has been an inspiration to me as well as to the fund. After raising our beautiful family, I founded the Friends of the Fulfillment Fund. And thanks to the encouragement of our first CEO, Andrea Cochran. <laughs> this women's auxiliary group raised important donations and continues to host unique fundraising events today. I was soon joined by Jan Goldman, who has served as the Friends co-president with me for more than 10 years. Thank you, Jan. Together, we have initiatives to connect with students.
citizens and continue to mail gift cards to fulfillment fund scholars who are pursuing their college degree. Over the years, I'm proud to say that the Friends of the Fulfillment Fund has raised more than $3 million to support the fund's mission. It's been a girl's passion for helping disadvantaged youth and providing a quality educational community for all young people that moved me to engage in this work alongside him. Throughout it all, Gary has worked tirelessly for these past 40 years, even in the face of his own more recent physical struggles. I'm extremely proud to have been his partner in these endeavors, as well as partners for life. Aside from our fantastic children and grandchildren, our involvement in the growth and success of the fund has been the object of our love and devotion. I know that like me, those involved in the Fulfillment Fund's operations have been inspired by Gary's consuming drive to help those children in our community who are most vulnerable. The thousands of young people who have been helped and whose personal stories of struggle have touched our hearts and made our work more than worthwhile. Thank you. Thank you all for contributing to this beautiful event. The Fulfillment Fund's work is far from over, and our fondest hope is that you will be inspired to continue helping the children of Los Angeles. Now it's my honor to hand it over to my wife, Gary. Take it away, Gary. Well, thank you, Sherman. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. Thank you for joining us and for honoring Sherman and me. I should, I should thank those who have made this evening successful and have supported us. But I will not be doing that. There are just too many people who have been important in making this evening possible and in helping Shirley and me. Please know that we love you all and we're grateful for all that you've done. Speaking of love, I want you to know that for 53 years I have loved my wife Sherna and I am grateful. And I'm grateful for her beautiful words tonight. Sherna has made my work possible and she has made my life wonderful. I want to acknowledge the presence tonight of the man who opened up Hollywood to the Fulfillment Fund, who is the first celebrity to really engage with us and to help us move forward, Mr. Sidney Poitier. I cannot describe 
how good it makes me feel when I see thousands of our students attain higher education and then transform their lives and those whose lives they touch. Ladies and gentlemen, you and I can change the world. Poverty. Poverty pervades our society. Poverty generates hopelessness, and hopelessness leads to violence. Through education, people can lift themselves out of poverty and become citizens, taxpayers, and leaders. The Fulfillment Fund makes this happen. You can make this happen. The fund now works with students in Los Angeles, Las Vegas, and Vail. Soon, it will open in other cities. One day, I hope, the fund's programs will serve children everywhere. The fund works because its staff members are dedicated and passionate about their work. It is to them, as well as to you, that I am especially grateful. The acronym EPIC, E-P-I-C, represents some of the concepts we strive to instill in our students. Excellence, perseverance, integrity, and giving back to the community. These all reflect the way of life we hope our students will seek. I wish that you would make the Fulfillment Fund your charity and the charity of your family. Know that your money causes great good. We do not know the number of students we help in our first 15 years. But in the past 25 years, we know that we have sent over 20,000 students through college. I would like to challenge you. By 2030, ladies and gentlemen, let us pledge to have sent 30,000 more students through college. To help us get there, we have included a pledge envelope in your program. Now, your program was on your chair when you came in. It's probably on the floor now. <laughs> but pick it up. And in the program is a, is a pledge envelope. Please, please fill them out. Leave it on your table or send it, a, or send it to us tomorrow at your convenience. Tonight, I know you have given generously. And I appreciate that greatly. But now, let us think of the future. The future of our community and the future of our nation and the future of the world. In order to multiply the good done by the Fulfillment Fund, we need your continuing help. We tell our students to reach for the moon, for even if you fail, you will still land among the stars. Ladies and gentlemen, in thinking about your pledge tonight and for the future, reach for the moon. Thank you for joining us in fostering a legacy of changing lives. Thank you.
thank you for coming. You can continue to be a part of the Fulfillment Fund by finding us at www.fulfillment.org. They just started reading it. <laughs> Please join us in happy birthday to Gary.